Hi everyone, Toxie here, and welcome to Toxie UI Patch 681 Overview. As always, I'm gonna go through the list of the change log and, if necessary, show you what's changed. So let's get to it. Starting with the new features, we have added an option to open the professions frame via Wunderbar's micro menu. So if I enable the spellbook and professions icon in the micro menu, you can see that now it shows right click, toggle, profession book. So if I toggle that, our professions open up. Next, we have added a support for a Tome of Teleportation add on to the Hearthstone module. This was a request from a user. So if you have that add on loaded and you hover the Hearthstone module, you will see that the right click will toggle Tome of Teleportation. So if you're using that add-on, uh, great news for you. Next, we've made some improvements to the Wunderbar Currency module. Previously, we've added the Mobile Warbank cooldown, and now it's going to update dynamically. So as you can see, uh, the second stick, and you can see that in the tooltip. Credits uh, go to Jake, and uh, we do know that the width sometimes changes depending on the font. Uh, that's just, I don't know, that's too, too minor an issue to really care about it. Then we've added an option to scale the professions frame for retail. So if I open my enchanting window and go to plugins additional scaling, you can see in the other section we have the professions frame and we can scale it, no, no issues. So if I scale it down. And the last new feature is that right clicking the ToxyY vehicle bar mover will open its settings. So if I go to LVY Movers, typing Move UI, you can see here's the vehicle bar, and if I right click it, it opens the settings for the vehicle bar. As for bug fixes, we've temporarily removed the dependency on lib open read, uh, because it's, I don't know, it's kind of broken right now and the spec icons were not updating. So now when I change spec, we're using LVY's uh, helper function and changing the spec immediately changes the spec icon on the unit rings. So that's now fixed and hopefully libopenRaid uh, fixes the issues on their end as well. And lastly, we have fixed the action bars fade show in vehicles option. It's now a bit smarter and works as it's supposed to. Previously there was an issue where druid forms were not picking it up and sometimes when you're not mounted it would stay. Uh, so now that should be good to go. And do note that if you have vehicle bar enabled, this option is disabled. Uh, same that's written here in the information. For the profile updates, like always, I would like to remind you that uh, if you want the profile updates to apply, you have to run the installer and apply the changes. I have also started prefixing which add-ons are affected by the profile update, so you can quickly identify which part of your uh, which part of your profile you need to update. So in this case, we have two plater changes and three LVY changes because Vint tools gets applied together with LVY in the layout selection part. So for this patch, you would have to open the installer, apply the layout if you want the profile updates, then go to Plater and apply the Plater profile as well. And back to the profile updates, we have updated mods for Plater, so now monsters in dungeons will have their nameplates colored accordingly to their like importance. And we've added some more debuffs to manual tracking. As for LUI profile updates, we have reduced the map event tracker font scale, specifically this part at the bottom, it should no longer be very huge. And we have enabled the extra items bar for quest items, openable items, and delve items. So currently I have none of those, but if we go to item extra items bar, you can see this bar here group configured. So if, for example, I add something like uh, equip, you can see the bar shows up right here and I can equip this item, but uh, we don't need that right now. And if you enable the movers, you can see the extra items bar is right here, anchored to the right chat. And the last LUI update, we've cleaned up and adjusted some movers, so the boss frame now matches the top of the arena, arena frames. 
because previously it was something like this. And we've also moved down the right chat to so that it's aligned with the rest of the bars, except for the left chat that stayed in the same place just because it has, you know, the chat box. So I don't want it to overlap with Wunderbar. For the documentation changes, I've reverted the 1600 height custom scale because we did have a, a little bit of backlash there. So, you know, I can't please everyone. So I don't know, guys. I mean, playing WoW on a resolution bigger than 1440p is, is kind of bad, whichever way you look at it. So there's no perfect solution for you. Then we've also internally updated the current season to War Within First Season. This affects the Hearthstone seasonal portals. And we've also added the seasonal portals to Wunderbar. Uh, this data was pulled from Wowhead's beta branch, so it might be inaccurate. So we'll see when the season starts and we start unlocking those portals, but it should be good. Then we've added uh, Covenant Hearthstone's uh, prefix to the Hearthstone select dropdown. So if we go to Wunderbar Hearthstone. You can see the Covenant Stones now have a monk colored prefix to it for easier identification. And lastly, we're following the same change we did for the status report. So now when you hover the Tox UI button tooltip, uh, you can see there's more add-ons like Bugsack, uh, etc. And for the settings refactoring, we've simplified the game menu skin options. Since we no longer add a button to the game menu, it's now called Tox UI Game Menu Skin. There's no longer a, a toggle for background fade that that has moved to the enabled because basically everything is anchored to the background fade so it no longer makes sense to have it separate and we've also added some extra information to the action bars fade module and by more information i mean this warning here that if you disable the action bars fade action bars will still not show up because they are inheriting global fade either way by default so if you disable it and reload you can see that the action bars are still not showing up. They're still, you know, hidden, but if you like select a target, then they will show up because this is the default LUI behavior. So you would have to go into each individual bar and, you know, disable inherit global fade right here. And it also does not show up when you close open the spellbook or the macros or the keybind uh, panel. That's what ToxyUI provides with the action bar fade. So if I re-enable it, you can see that opening the spellbook shows up the action bars, the same goes for the macro screen and also for keybind mode. So if you want to quickly change your action bars to, you know, always show, you can do that here through this drop down, show always, showing combat, hiding combat, or LUI default. In case you don't want to keep reloading, you can just select this and then it behaves the same as it does in LUI. And that is it for Talks UI Patch 681. Like always, if you have any feedback or suggestions, open a ticket on GitHub. And if you need any sort of help, support with Talks UI, please do not write YouTube comments. Go to Discord. It's a thousand times much easier to provide support in Discord. So yeah, uh, see you next time.